Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Terraforma Craft, the new generation. So from the last episode we are left with 13 copper ingots, and I completely forgot you can stack them like this. So yeah, I moved them from the chest and placed them right here. So yeah, I would like to try making the copper anvil again today, but in order to do that I will need to heat up the copper ingots again. And that is impossible to do in a fire pit and melting them again in a pit kiln is kinda stupid. So what will you do? You have only two options, right? Well, no. We're going to make some charcoal. Uh, in this hole, or this hill, there are nine log piles filled to the brim with logs, so there are 16 logs, 16 logs here, 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 you know, and are all the 9 logs. Now we are going to light this one on fire and close it off to block off any oxygen, and now we are making charcoal. You can see the particles, which symbolizes that the charcoal bit is actually running, and yeah, we just have to wait to get some charcoal. So now we have to wait, and meanwhile I spotted this tree and that it has some fruit on it and I was... oh, it's a lemon tree! Well, we're going to harvest this. In case you're wondering where I got so much wood from, well, there's a sequoia forest right here and... well, the trees are really high and they... if you chop one down it gives you a bunch of wood, but the only problem with these trees is that they don't drop saplings, so they are kinda rare, but... Yeah, look, there's a bunch of them, so if we chopped some down for charcoal, it is not really a big issue, I feel like. Okay, now I'm curious. I did some research about making cheese, and it appears that we need to use alcohol, and, well, I think I'll go with beer, so we are gonna just go through the whole process of making the cheese. So first we will need some flour, or just some sort of alcohol, as I said. I will be going with barley because I can make beer out of it and I have a bunch of barley, so yeah, I can make beer fairly easily. You're gonna take your flour and put it inside here and then seal it, like this. And now we have to wait again. I think the charcoal is ready, so we're gonna take care of that and then we're gonna continue with the cheese, but yeah. It's definitely ready because I don't see any particles. So let's hope that yes we have charcoal here. I'm gonna take this all out and then whoa okay that scared me that sounded like a weird mob but huh I didn't knew that charcoal actually has its own sound. Better fuel indeed. Now, with this charcoal, we are just gonna put it inside this uh, structure. Uh, it's um, supposed to be a multi-block structure and you just need to place five bricks like this and then fill it with charcoal. And I'm just gonna grab some log... no wait, I don't need logs, um, copper ingots, so I can actually heat them up. and. If we light this thing on fire, yes, it's gonna be turned into charcoal pill pit. Now we just need to fill it up with charcoal and these ingots will slowly heat up and we need to watch them. Also I went on a small journey to get some limestone because I need way more flux and whoa. Uh -oh. I almost broke the hammer. Uh Quick solution, some rocks, and a stick. Okay, and we can continue watching this. You need to be really careful while watching this because yeah, it now says that it can work. Uh, it will slowly heat up and it will show that it can work, then it will sh show that it can be welded, which is what we want. But then it will actually say danger when it's getting near to the temperature of melting and if it actually melts you lose this and you can't get it back, which is fairly dangerous, so we need to watch these ingots. Okay, orange, this, very good. Now we have our two 
double copper ingots. And I'll just be doing this for a while, just, just a small while, until I get seven of these. Okay, I'm curious about this. Can I cook the poultry in this? Wait. It actually works. Wow. <laughs> and this should be the last one. Yes, we got seven. Now all we just need to do is take these double ingots, put them in this shape, and here is our copper anvil. And dropping an anvil. <laughs> now we can get rid of this block. Uh, I don't know if you can un and anvil it, but I think you can just do... Okay, you can. Well, I just have to mine it then. Goodbye. And you're getting replaced by this beauty. Since we obtained the copper anvil, I think you guys need a better explanation of how the anvil system works, because in the last episode I explained it really quick and it was not really understandable and was bad, so I'm gonna do it again. So, in Terraformacraft each metal has two tiers. One tier decides which anvil or which tier of anvil it needs to get welded, and the second tier decides at which tier of anvil it needs to get processed on to make, for example, an axe head. Copper, which we welded just a second ago, has tier zero of welding, which means that it can be welded at a stone anvil, but copper is the only metal that can do that. But to actually make the axe head or sword head, you need tier 1 anvil, which is the copper one. Then bismuth bronze will be the next, and that has work tier of 2, so in order to make an axe head you need tier 2 anvil, but it has welding tier of 1, so it can be welded in a tier 1 anvil, which is copper. After bronze it is iron, after iron it is steel, and after steel it is black steel, and after that it is red or blue steel. If you still didn't understand it, let me say it that way. Bare anvil equals progress. That should be enough. While we were messing around with the anvil, the beer actually got fermented. It took three days, which is really long. but. When it was fermenting I realized that there is a much easier way to make milk, so we didn't really need the alcohol or the beer. And I could still use it, but I won't because, well, I just want <laughs> beer to drink. And we are gonna go with the easier method. The easier method is that you put milk inside a barrel and then you put these rennets from Terra Thermalife inside. And it is one pair two buckets. I have three buckets and I can't really split it. I'm gonna put two in there. And that will make me a curdlet milk. Uh, so it voided the one bucket. Uh, well, that doesn't matter. I just need to seal this and it should make milk soon ish. Alright, I'm back because I needed to go on a small adventure because there's apparently something called a cheesecloth and it needs wool cloth and if I understand this correctly I have curled meat cheesecloth and now if I have this it will be turned into cheese or uh uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll close this for now. Hi. Most of you probably think that I'm smart or, well, that I know stuff, but I'm actually very dumb because I've been reading the whole time the wrong wiki and not the wiki that I should have been <laughs> looking at for the 1.12 version. So, yeah, I was making the cheese incorrect way. So apparently the alcohol recipe for the cheese or the curled milk was completely removed and you need to use this way. I, I was right about the cheesecloth and what you do is just 
right click on the ground and you get this milk curd. And you do this several times to get some of these guys, which you can eat. After you get these milk curds, you need some salt water, which you can just take from the ocean or make by putting salt into fresh water. And if you put three of these milk curds and seal it, you will get a cheese wheel. And we are gonna get Gouda, which is my favorite cheese in real life. That's a nice coincidence. Oh, we got our go to wheels. Yes! No! My jug! Aww. Alright, alright. I'm very excited for this. Uh, let's make a small table over here, for example. Yeah, and let's put our cheese wheels over here. Ah! <sighs> We could eat them right now if we take a knife and just cut one piece off, but there is a special mechanic to these two, and that is aging. You can see that the Violet says that it is a Goda wheel from Terra from a Life and that it is fresh. Well, because it's a new cheese wheel, so it's fresh <laughs> as it says. But if we let it sit for a while, then it will become aged and if we let it sit even longer it will become vintage and the wiki says that the longer you let it sit the tastier it will be so i presume that it will give more dairy nutrition and that it will give you more saturation so i definitely will try to get the vintage quality and also it will be my saving grace for winter because well a lot of this food will be decayed soon and I will need to go hunting so uh, yeah I will let it sit and I hope that it won't decay and when we are on our last pieces of food during winter we can eat these too but yeah I'm very happy with the progress today I learned a lot of new things so I'm very glad for that and I think that the food situation that I had a lot of problems up until now is finally getting solved and we're also progressing so I'm very happy and I hope you guys are also happy and I also hope that you enjoyed this video and stay safe, have a good day, bye bye.